Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are playing Space Engineers. Specifically we are going to talk about conveyor systems. So this is going to help you understand uh, how to run conveyor systems, how to make them functional, and all that kind of fun stuff. So what you guys see in front of you is the technically multiple types of conveyors. The first one you've got right here, we'll go ahead and use my blowtorch to point at it. Uh, you've got the basic conveyor tubes. So you've got your corner, your elbow, your junction where you have all six sides available for passing it on and this is all in the large ship you've got your little straights you've got a conveyor sorter you have a small storage right here cargo container you've got a connector and then you've got a uh, collector right here uh, collectors only work to be clear in space so if you're using them on earth they are not going to work and then over here we have a small ship conveyor system uh, which you have a medium cargo container and specifically I put that one down because it has both a large and small connectors which will become important for your welding ships and mining ships and stuff and I'll show you that in a little bit because at the end of this I'm going to show you how you can use this stuff functionally. Then you've got a small conveyor tube, a small conveyor sorter and then you actually have an extractor right here and then right here you actually have a conveyor frame. It only works on the small ships, um, but it helps just give you a little bit extra space on there. As you can see, it's one square wide. And then you also have the conveyor sorter. Um, this is for the larger uh, port on these smaller ships. So it's the same as the one up here. However, it's for the larger ship. So that's the same conveyor right here as it is right there. So that's gonna help you guys out for that one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain this uh, using a little ecosystem that I built or a small conveyor system that's on here. We're running off the power of the base, as you can see, but it is going to be individual just for this one. There's nothing else connected to it. We're just using the power. Uh, you'll see a bunch of other conveyor stuff, but we're going to go ahead and explain it. So I've got a cargo container right here, a straight tube right here. I've got a junction uh, because it allows me to have an in and multiple ways out. So if I wanted to, I could add all kinds of extra stuff onto the end of this and continue to make it. I don't have any interior plates on me, uh, but I do have some in my cargo container. Here we go. And so I can put more tubes down, continue my conveyor system, and that's what those junctions allow you to do. I also have a sorter and a connector. A connector allows you to access the stuff in it. However, because I have this sorter and you can see the arrow pointing out, I cannot access the materials that are behind the sorter. So if you have a, a connector here, it won't go in. So it won't go into the system, it only comes out of the system. And that's gonna be important when it comes to miners and things of that nature. But I'm gonna show you how to set this stuff up. But, but because I have access to my cargo container, I can access all the pieces that I need. Now, as I said, this is connected to the whole base, so you're going to see a bunch of stuff, but I know specifically these are the last things I placed on the base, so any of these tubes that I need to change are going to be on this the last number on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it. So basically, I'm going to want to get all this stone out of here. I don't want this stone in this small cargo container. As a matter of fact, I don't want stone at all, so I'm going to get it to extract out of the connector. So I'm going to set the conveyor sorter up, and we're going to do that by jumping into these little panels right here. You can jump into here. You can control panel and as I said I knew it was the last one so we're gonna go to conveyor sorter 3 um, that's specifically the very last one I've got on here and you can see right now the blocks on everything's looking great on here you can name it I highly suggest that you can see our sorters that we are working on we name specifically and then there's going to be two functions you're going to need. One is the drain all function. This is extremely important. This is going to drain everything. And then you can filter things. Now, if you just want to take everything and push it, then you can do that and it'll push everything into there. However, you can do two different ways. You can filter what you're putting through that sorter. That is specifically blacklist and whitelist. Blacklist means it will take everything except the items you put down below. Whitelist means it'll take nothing except what you put down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to do whitelist and we're going to go ahead and just grab that stone. So you scroll down, you can add a new filter. You can see they have group filters up here, or iron, or, or ingots, uh, hand tools, components, and ammo, and all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to grab that stone. And basically what I want to do is I want to push it into the connector. So here's the stone. I'm going to add it to my filter. However, because I don't have drain all on, even though I added it to my filter, we're going to go over here. You're going to see the connector does not have any stone in it. Connector number eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back in this little, you can use any of them, go to conveyor sorter and hit drain all on. So now all the stone is going to be in right there. So now it's pushing all my stone from this conveyor system. Now if I did this inside, I'll show you guys what that looks like on a bigger conveyor system. It'll push stuff out. So then I look at this connector and I'm like, okay, well that's great. The stone's in there. How do I get the stone out of there automatically? Well, simply you go to your connector number eight, 
and you put throw out on. You can also do collect all on, but basically all you want to do is turn to throw it on, and basically you're going to see a nice big old rock ball pump out of there, and there it is. As you guys can see, you got your rocks coming out here, so I can grab that six pounds, six tons of rock, throw it back into here, and you'll just see it shoot right back out the end again. And there it is. So that's how that works for the conveyors. You can throw out, you can make them not throw out, and that's how that works. Just read your little descriptions on here and hit that off. Um, you can also change the strength in which it throws things out, and that does help also. So now that we've got that little system set up, you understand how to work the sorters, how to work connectors, and how to access them using the control panels. Really the biggest thing that you have to understand is there's actually... When you're going through connectors, you have to understand that there are certain things that don't go through small connectors. So these are your small connectors. Um, they cannot take everything. So we're talking about these little guys right here, um, those junctions and everything. We'll go over here and show you really quick is all this stuff right here. All these are small conveyors. They cannot take every type of item and push it through. Specifically, the only things they can take are your basic weapons, ammos, computers, construction components, explosives, motors, reactor components, thruster components, and all types of ore and material. So there are very few things that can't move, but there are things. So when it comes to making a grinder or a welder ship, you need to have your large tubes and your large conveyor conjunct, uh, junctions and all that kind of stuff on your small ship. So how you do that is once again through that medium container. So this is that medium container as we talked about, and you can see it accesses the small and the large or the large conveyor tubes on it. So how that works on this guy is simply I have the, the medium container in here. I have all of my small stuff running through here and I have all of the medium stuff running out of here. So all the larger pieces and running right to the grinder. So when it grinds it pulls it, puts it into the tube and sticks it into the container. And then on this side you've got your connector and you also have your other grinder and that's where I use my junction is to make it in there so you can see if I jump into the connector you can see we have all kinds of stuff in the connector but I can access it in the medium cargo container and everything in there plus I have my little reactor in there hooked up so that thing is ready to go and up and running now when you're looking at mining you really don't need a medium container you should use it just for the weight but you only need to have your drills and they only need to be on smalls because it's all ores you're dealing with so they'll just go right into a small and push it out however I like a having an extra medium on here specifically because I want to extract all my stone you don't need stone and you don't need tons of ice so what I've got is I've got a whole pile of ejectors right here that are set up to functionally work on this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my cockpit and turn them off really quick and make sure I have them excluded from my option I'm gonna go grab that stone that we threw down earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in so I've already got this programmed to where it extracts out of everything so actually we're gonna put it in the connector and it is going to pull over to that medium container because we set it up the exact same way did on that small micro uh, cosm of a conveyor and you'll see it come over here in a minute there it is because I have a small conveyor sorter right there that's pushing through from the market um, the medium cargo container so now I've got all these extractors hooked up and so basically what I'll do is I will jump in um, we're gonna make sure you guys can see this and I'm gonna turn it on number three turns on my extractors I'll turn it on and those will automatically extract now how I did that is through the control panel system again so if you look in here this is by this is how it works and it just automatically throws everything out and it'll collect anything I need but it's all my extractors or ejectors I call them extractors I apologize ejectors will throw out every part of stone because I have sorted out of here and I have blacklist or whitelist ice and stone to go right into this medium cargo container and once it's in the cargo container it'll sit there until I tell it to turn on these ejectors and it'll just eject it all out and it very simply works and it'll shoot out all of the stone and ice that I need and I get the ore that I want so that's how the conveyor is going to work on your drilling system that's how it's going to work on your mining and or not your mining, I apologize, your welding and your grinders, which you pretty much have the same ship for because you can just take your grinders off and drop on your welders and it works the exact same. So the last question I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about is how a large system works. You can see we have everything hooked up here with all of our large conveyors. You've got your refinery, you have your arc furnace, we have our assembler, we have our large storage container, you've got all of your hydrogen 
and O2 generators. And we've got our reactor that doesn't have to be on there. However, it always is best to have it on there because we technically cannot put our ore in there. So I've got a bunch of uranium right here. It can't access it because it is not on the conveyor system. It's just attached. So you'll always have to manually put it on there. We did that because we plan on doing a solar farm. Now, I ran a conveyor into the back. You can see it right here through a tube that's going to go into the back and that's because that's going to be in our medical room and I wanted to show you this because it shows the use of the sorter very specifically so I've got the sorter coming through here however I've got all my cryo tubes I've got a medical I've got a connector that's got full access to everything whatever I need is on there however we wanted this small cargo container to allow for all of our weapons tools and ammo for when you come out of here you spawn or whatever it is and it's all forced into here so how we did that was once again we went in and looked at the sorter and we did it as a whitelist so you can see i've got the hand tools automatic rifles and the ammo so it's only going to pull the ammo specifically for the weapons and that allows us to have it all right there for quick access when we spawn or whatever it is and we have the access to it so that is really the overview of the conveyor system i hope it helps if you guys have further questions please leave them in the comments down below if there's any other tutorials you want to see from space engineers we can do those also we have myself and panda who are very well versed in space engineers but guys um i make sure you guys let us know what you think of the video give us a thumbs up on there I hope that uh, you guys all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.